Hello everybody. On November the 6th we've got a beautiful abundant full moon at 14 degrees of Taurus. Now opposite the full moon, because at a full moon the sun and moon are opposite one another, we've got a lot of Scorpio energy in the heavens. So Scorpio, we've got the sun in Scorpio, we've got Venus in Scorpio and Saturn in Scorpio. So this is bringing about some intensity. It's time for things to come to light. Maybe something you've been tolerating, putting up with, maybe in a relationship, maybe at work. Maybe it's time to tell the truth about this, to be honest and to bring it to light so that you can make some changes. Now a couple of weeks ago at the Scorpio eclipse I shared with you that the good and the bad forces were going to see this polarized further. So um, I shared with you as well that somebody had stolen a reading from me by using a stolen credit card and would you believe it, um, only a few hours after sending that video out and publishing in my newsletter, um, a very kind client actually sent me $95 and of course I offered her a reading for it and she said no absolutely not. I just want to give that to you to pay it forward. You, over the years you've supported me in all the things that you've been doing online and I just want you to keep going on and on. Of course, I was deeply touched and treasured the messages that she left me and her generosity. And at the time of this full moon in Taurus opposite all these Scorpio planets, we are going to see this polarity. In this last week I've just had somebody start stealing some of my videos, putting them up on his channel and claiming that they're his and doing that with quite a few other astrologers as well. So we've got these dark forces and the dark forces are going to come to light more quickly. Yes, within the speed of light, some of you let me know about this. So I was able to correct it quickly and also help the other astrologers and let them know what was happening. It's a great time during this full moon in Taurus to pay it forward. What act of kindness can you give? Doesn't it make you feel abundant when you give something to somebody? It just makes, well, I know how I feel. I just feel great when I'm giving something. And Taurus as well is about finding your passion, your true value. What do you value? What are your gifts? What are you excited about? Well, in case you didn't notice, I'm extremely excited about astrology. I feel that I can shine the light of astrology. Your individual talents show in your chart. When I work with you, people from all over the world, I'm so excited to work with you and those gifts that you come in with and how to make best use of them. So during this full moon in Taurus, it's a sensual moon. It's a moon for getting in touch with the earth, the quietness, the sensuality, getting in touch with your own body, what your needs are, what you want, what you want to share. This is what this full moon is all about. For me, it's about bringing more of the shining light is what I want to share because it's going to contrast with the dark energies who are still fighting. The Ebola crisis is more about fear than anything else and fear extinguishes the light. So when you're excited, you're passionate, you're doing what you love to do, you'll be spreading that light energy, which is what this Taurus full moon wants you to do. Taurus rules money. This could be very abundant. In ancient times this was often a time when people would leave their purses open just for some abundance to show um, in their lives. So you might want to do that during the time of this full moon. But the way I see it is the more that we can share the good news, share the message of goodness and focus on that, that doesn't mean to say that 
Scorpio doesn't have its place with needing to tell the truth and needing to be honest and needing to eliminate the things that we no longer need. After all, our body eliminates through sweating, through different ways, the toxins that we no longer need. We have to keep going with that. We can't block our plumbing system up. So it's important to keep freeing yourself. And one of the best ways to free yourself is to be generous, see and appreciate everything that you do have in your life and share in whatever little way you can to pay something forward to somebody else. I do hope during this full moon in Taurus you're going to feel inspired to do something and we can spread ripples of light out into the world. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.